Okay, I'm here with Christopher from the Chavs uh, right after they their win against uh, GDK. Um, so let's go t talk about that match first. 2-0, um, but still a fairly close uh, game. Uh, you guys uh, went the whole map on Hollywood, mm -hmm. right? But they were in overtime. You guys yeah. had a bit of time, so then you kept first point. So like just Hollywood impressions. Um, our attack, we probably, if we're honest, we ourselves should have took first a lot quicker than we did. Um, and then the rest of the map was pretty clean sailing. We had one fight at the very end on defense where we had five ults, including Zarya May, and we managed to somehow lose that fight. Um, but we clutched it through in overtime, thankfully. Uh, as I said, yeah, we probably, if we were at our best, would have won that one more clean than it was. All right, then then you guys went to Li Zhang, and that was a 3-1, yeah. I believe. Okay, what do you feel about that one? Um, I think we knew going into it they were going to look to draft payload. I think they weren't as comfortable on cough as us, perhaps. Um, but after we beat them on Payload Hollywood, they just said, right, we'll go King of the Hill, try it. Um, Oli Jang's okay. I think at least when it's triple tank versus triple tank, like I said, uh, I think we're better than almost everyone else in Europe at that specific matter. And we knew that uh, GDK weren't gonna, probably weren't gonna play the full dive, which we're expecting perhaps the other teams to play. Uh, so we knew King of the Hill would be fine for us, I think. So speaking of the other teams, you guys now have kind of a break right now until the Grand Finals. Yeah. Um, what do you think about those two other teams, the Movie Star Riders and then Dignitas? So Movie Star Riders are probably the closest team to us in Europe, like friendship-wise. Um, we scrim them a lot. We always find that they're, in scrims specifically, they're very good. Um, but then it doesn't always necessarily translate into tournament play, whenever we've seen them play. And obviously LAN throws everything up. It's it's very different, especially if it's your first LAN, which I think there's a couple of players on each team who it is. Um, so I think if I was, at least judging from what we've played them last patch, I think Movie Star are probably the better team. But it wouldn't surprise me if Dig won because they've got more experience on LAN, for example. All right. Speaking of like first LAN experiences, on your side, who who is like the first time here? Uh, Snizzle knows was the only one whose his first LAN was. Right. And then everyone had some yeah. kind of experience before. Yes, uh, me, Sev, and Tomzy did one in the UK. They did. I think they've Tomzy and Sev specifically have done two in the UK, and they've won them both. So, uh -huh. the, the yeah, clean yeah, sweep yeah. now. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's talk a bit more about the other big topic, which is the fact that you guys don't have an organization. You're like probably one of the most high-profile teams in Europe that's just unsigned, and mm -hmm. it's been like this for like quite a few months now. Yeah. So, like what's what's going on there um I, we spoke to a lot of orgs a lot of big orgs as well and the general consensus from every single one of them says we think you're good but we're very unsure about it until we know the details of overwatch league and it feels like a lot of orgs have seen the rumors of overwatch league and thought i don't know if we can afford to necessarily buy a spot and with the way the european tournament scene is is there any money in picking up a team salary in them for them to play in one tournament every two months if we can't then translate that team into Overwatch League. So I think we perhaps were unlucky in the timing that we our growth spurt happened. If it happened before that Overwatch League initial announcement, I think we would have been picked up, no problem. All right, um, so in that regard, like if one NA organization were to approach you guys, kind of like what's happened to like Luminosity mm -hmm. and pick you up and move you to NA, specifically for Overwatch League, you guys would all be down? Yeah, I think so. I think um, a lot of teams are jumping over to NA, and I can understand why, obviously. Um, I think perhaps it might be a mistake, because the way I'm looking at it is there's going to be eight or ten spots in the Overwatch League. If every single team in Europe moves over to NA, half of them aren't going to get into the league. Um, so I guess from a purely competitive standpoint, NA is the place to be right now. There's more cups, there's more teams or whatever. Um, but it's one thing I've said all along is unless you have the capital in your organization to be able to afford a spot on the Overwatch League, I think moving to NA is a mistake. Because like we're kind of basing our um, all this on rumors because mm -hmm. we don't really have confirmation that it's yeah. going to be only NA. Like they want to have a global league and that includes Europe, but they've kind of hinted at the yeah. fact that at the start it would not be really yeah. global. I think from what we've seen and heard, the rumors are season one will be in NA only, and then season two might expand to Europe or Korea or whatever. So I think there might be 
a niche in the market where if you can afford to buy a team, sit them in Europe for six months, 10 months, however long it is, get yourself into Overwatch season two in Europe, that might be the, the better way to do it as opposed to competing with everyone who's going to NA. Right, right. Um, so then you guys would want to be be the team to pick up to kind of kind of practice here on the EU side and then just... I, we aren't necessarily bothered about if we're in Europe, if we're in A, we, we would more just want to get picked up really. Just want to play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, because like, I, I think a lot of people don't realize, but you guys are kind of like, I want to say tier two, you know, mm -hmm. no offense, but you have Misfits, you have Rogue, you have NIP, big orgs, good players. And then there's these other teams who are also really good, most of which are here today, who don't have that kind of backing. And yet in NA, uh, you know, those tier two teams are still some pretty big orgs and have yeah. like a lot of funding yeah. behind. Yeah, it's it's definitely, uh, I think to be honest with you, it all just boils down to the fact that you look at NA, there's tournaments every other week. You've got 100K LAN, which was played yesterday which all the tier two teams in america went to which is effectively the same as what's yeah. here except their prize pool is 100k and we've got 5k and you, you've got to as much as it sucks you've got to understand why organizations you're going to go where there's big tournaments you can't make any money salary and players for them to play in a 5k yeah. tournament it's just not feasible really in a lot of ways yeah but then it, it's kind of on blizzard to make sure yeah. that eu doesn't die in the meantime yeah well um there's been rumors that Blizzard is looking at it and they're going to bring out tournaments or whatever. Um, I know there was specifically the ESL UK Prem got cancelled because Blizzard supposedly has big plans for the UK. Well, that it. that's that's verbatim what they said yeah, in, yeah. in that post, but we don't know more, yeah. actually. Um, yeah, and I think one good thing that's happened in Europe is there's been... Everybody's talking about, oh, no EU tournaments and everything. And I think it's got everyone together. And now there's there's a couple online ones, monthly is coming on. Uh, so there's more money in it this up and coming month and then maybe the months afterwards. Uh, it's possible that we just had a dry spell the last couple of months. And you can at the same time, you can kind of understand why. Because if you're a to tournament organizer, Misfits, Rogue, Reunited, all in Korea. If, if, what's the point in hosting a tournament if three of the big four can't play in it? Uh, which is fair enough in my opinion but it, now they're back in Europe bar misfits nipper here reunited here it's, Rook, it's, yeah. it's fair enough and yet NA organizes these big tournaments and it's only tier 2 teams yeah. so you know yeah. why not big tournaments for, for you guys and for yeah. uh, the likes of GDK and that kind yeah. of thing yeah, I, it's impossible to say why I guess it's just one of those things where as of right now if you're a tournament organizer you can get an NA tournament where CLG uh Liquid, NRG, all these teams are going to enter it. If you host one in EU, there's not that like drawing power of big orgs in it. And it all stemmed, it must have started a couple of months ago when, I don't know, it's just, uh, I'm not quite sure why it just started. And then you can understand from then on why they don't want to host big tournaments in Europe as opposed to America. All right, so we've kind of talked about everything I wanted to. Uh, here's your opportunity opportunity to like convince people if they see this to, to pick you up so go uh, for it well what i would say is we haven't paid for this trip on our own so we have got some form of sponsorship back and i'm not allowed to say more than that so i probably shouldn't advertise us to the world until i know more about our Te current teasing operation. teasing yes, exactly yes maybe in the next couple of months something gets announced but until then i'm not allowed to say anything all right small words for like your fans who are cheering for you guys yeah it's a uh, it was it was very nice to see the thing that hit home the most was when we qualified for this land it didn't look like we we're gonna be able to get funding and there was a lot of outcry from like uh fans in europe and said well we'll we'll get a kickstart we'll take the chavs to europe i think that was a uh, that was really really nice and i think that it, that was uh i don't really know what to say it was really nice to see that there is a lot of good people in eu that want to see teams like us succeed so thank you to them <laughs> All right, well, I wish you the best for, for those endeavors and also for this tournament today. Thanks. Thank you very much.